we going to see a bear? Is that such a word? Encephalitis? Encephalitis. The most terrifying animal, if I can say animal, put on uh, pants that you can tuck in your socks. Hi guys, my name is Anna and I live in Gorno Altaisk in Russia. Today I would like to take you with me on a short hike around the city where we have uh, mountains and today we are going to Komsomolskaya mountain uh, which you can see behind myself. Uh, here we have forest and we are going to go through a uh, village part of the town up the hill then through the forest and afterwards we go into the uh, peak but you can see it now from here because it's covered by the first part of the mountain with the forest but in the end I will show you how it looks from the point of view of the city. I think that you will enjoy so let's go! yet but I wanted to uh, pay attention for you guys to pay attention to what we are doing besides going hiking I think it's called vlogging then you picking up while jogging so we picking up some garbage that left by some not so nice people so guys please if you go in hiking to the nature or having fun or going to the picnic or maybe making barbecue take your garbage with you the planet will say, say thank you. So here's the sign that opens the road to the Komsomolska mountain. It's already written here that you're going to visit a part of the nature's home. So take care of the nature. Don't cut the trees. Don't throw the garbage. Don't kill the animals. And this is the rules that we are going to follow and encourage all of you to follow. So we decided to take a little break to breathe uh, because it's not an easy journey for a beginner. Though um, I'm not really a weak person, uh, without any preparation it's a little bit difficult to go up. But it's a nice moment to sit and listen to the birds, to the flies, breathe the smell of the forest. And just enjoy the serenity that could be could be found here, far from the city, in the forest, and embrace the nature.
Mountain Komsomolska is known not only for its magnificent nature, but also as a popular skiing and snowboarding site for the citizens. Its height is 428 meters and the slope is 30 degrees. The ski uh, track here is a little bit easier than on Mount Tugaya. Mount Tugaya is the one that you see on the left side and that one is more difficult but here the track is not so difficult so even children from the skiing school are trained here. Uh, this side of the mountain is the northern side so here in the winter the snow stays for longer so it allows a longer uh, time for skiing. Uh, this mountain is very rich with animals and flora. Uh, most of the forest here is the birch forest, but on the top you can see a lot of pines, uh, spruce and other fir trees. Uh, also, you have lots of medical herbs used in uh, traditional uh, medical practice of the region. There's lots of uh, chamomile here and, and other herbs that you can add to the tea and you can pick them up and dry them and then put in the hot boiling water and drink instead of tea and they have lots of healing properties for different parts of your body. These herbs are very strong because they're not cultivated, they grow in the wilderness. Since you guys are watching the video from Russia, you probably have been questioning yourself during this video. Are we going to see a bear? No, not really. We don't have bears here. That's too close to the city and they don't really approach very close to the place of people's living. So probably if you go a little bit further uh, behind this mountain and behind several mountains, you can find animals like wolves and bears, but they're not really common and we are here feeling absolutely safe. The animals that you can still see here are uh, hares, chipmunks, squirrels. We have lots of squirrels. It's actually one of the non-official uh, symbol of Siberian forest. And also lots of birds. You probably can hear them We also have lots of insects here. Butterflies we saw, lots of flies as well, which are annoying, but also peaceful bees that are harvesting uh, nectar from the flowers. And actually we don't have much of mosquitoes this summer, which is surprising for me because we had very uh, snowy winter and the summer started pretty early here. So in Siberia usually the summer starts in June, but this year in April and May it was already very, very hot. Talking about insects, I also must say that besides the regular insects, we also have here ticks. That's why you probably noticed that I'm dressed funny. I um, tucked my uh, pants inside my socks but this is one of the precautions that we usually do when we go out in the nature especially if you go in the grass in the high grass or in the bushes which I did today collecting garbage that were, was there so the most refined creature of Siberian forest in my opinion is tick because they can transfer Lyme disease and encephalitis we actually made uh, uh, insurance for encephalitis. If you find a tick that bit you, you can go to the hospital and receive a free uh, injection uh, of the medicine to prevent encephalitis. But from Lyme disease, you don't have any medications. So you got to be very cautious, even if you have insurance or if you had um, vaccines. Every time we come home after our hiking, trips we need to uh, look at our clothes very attentively and search 
on all the parts of the body for the ticks and use repellents yeah you can also come here to bird watch and listen in to the birds it's quite nice we can see the city center from up here so you can see the stadium uh, and uh, sport ground also uh, you can see that in the city center there are more uh, several story buildings while on the outskirts which goes up to the mountain chain you see mostly village type uh, private houses so this is actually the only city in Altai Republic which is called Gornaltaisk. The rest of the places are villages or settlements uh, which have a village lifestyle and this is the most urban place of the whole republic. And the mountains are everywhere around. Down there you can see Maima River which is also one of the sites for walking. People spend their, their holidays, they have dates on the bank of the river and during the winter you can do cross-country skiing. We enjoy uh, hiking tours during the winter on cross-country skis and when the river is frozen you can go just on the surface. Altai Republic is one of the most interesting tourist destination of Siberia and people are attracted from all over the country and also from foreign countries to see our magnificent forests and mountains and to breathe our clean crystal air. part of the mound, a little bit downwards and I really enjoy, I really love being in the nature and there's nothing better for me than having a rest, listening to the birds, looking at the trees, smelling the smell of the forest and of sandy soil here, I love it. This is one of my favorite berries ever, they look like strawberries, I really forgot the real name of it so when I go home I will Look in the uh, dictionary and I will tell you what's the name of it. And it's really nice and it's sweet and it tastes like love. <laughs> I don't know, really. So I'm going to eat it in a moment. <laughs> So we turned on the right and going now downwards through this more dense forest and it now feels completely wild only besides that the road itself was made by a car or by a tractor I guess and if we stand for a moment and just listen we can catch a feeling that we are in the ancient forest and maybe a dinosaur will approach us from the darkness and it feels so close to the nature, to the beginning, to our roots that we all came from. The only difference is that, yeah, here we have lots of trails of human presence and this is the proof. These are the flowers that my husband likes the most, forget-me-nots. They are so nice and tiny and they express purity and calmness.
Yes, here we came out of the forest and we're going down now through the village type part of the town. And here in front of us you see the Tukuya Mount mountain, which is much bigger and uh, maybe we will go there the next time. In the very end of our journey, we suddenly saw that we have here some kind of Buddhist center. I've never heard about it. So if you guys are really surprised and want me to cover it more, maybe come there and see what's there, let me know in the comments below. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, press the like button, press subscribe and the tiny little bell not to skip the next video. See you next time. Also, if you have any comments, Please share and if you want any more tips, tricks and anything about how to spend good time in a tiny little town in Russia, please feel free to ask. Bye bye!